Okay, so this is a video on U substitution or integration by substitution, which is a really helpful technique in calculus for breaking down an integral that you might not know how to solve into something that more or less takes the form of something you do know how to solve. So this is assuming that you already have a pretty good grasp on derivatives and antiderivatives because that's mostly what we're going to be doing here. So you're going to want to use U substitution when you have a composite of functions. What is that? That's when something that resembles f of g of x. So a function g of x within your function f. An example would be cosine x squared, where your cosine is your f of x, and your x squared is your g of x. Your function x squared is within your cosine function. Another example would be e to the negative 4x. You have an independent function, negative 4x, within the power of e and 1 over the square root of 2x minus 1. There's the function 2x minus 1 within the square root. So how do we go about solving this first example which takes from there? The integral of cosine x squared 2x dx. So let's take our u to be x squared because we see that the x squared is within the cosine function. We take the derivative of that and get 2x dx. So let's bring this down. We have cosine u, 2x dx. So how does that simplify anything? Basically, it just looks like I've introduced another variable. Well, if you see our du here equals 2x dx, which is what's left over in our integrand. So we can just take that away and call this cosine of u du. So now this is just a basic integral that we already know how to solve. But we don't want to leave it in terms of u. So let's solve this. We have sine of u plus c changing back into our, our u as x squared. We have sine of x squared plus our constant integration. So this took this somewhat difficult looking integral into something that we knew how to solve pretty easily. Alright, for the next example, we have e to the 5x plus 2 dx. So we know from the past that the integral of e to the x is just itself e to the x. So let's try to make this integral into that form. So let's take our u to be 5x plus 2, which would make our du 5 dx. Okay, so now we have the integral of e to the u times, so what is our dx? Well, our dx would be just one-fifth du. This should bring the five over. So we have e to the u times one-fifth du. All right, so we can pull out the one-fifth. One-fifth times the integral of e to the u with respect to u. And now we know how to solve that. That's just itself. So we have one-fifth e to the u plus c, which plugging back in our u, we get one fifth e to the 5x plus 2 plus c. Okay, for the next example, we have the integral of sine of ln of x divided by x. So let's rewrite this so it looks a little nicer. Okay, so all I did was just bring out the numerator into the front and call this 1 over x dx. So let's take our u to be the function inside of the sine, so ln of x, which would make our du 1 over x dx. Okay, as you can see, once again, our du is simply the derivative of u, which happens to be 1 over x dx, which cancels out completely. That'll happen in most problems, or it'll almost completely cancel out. So we have the sine of u, du. Now we know the integral of this is just negative cosine of u plus c. Plugging it back in our u, we have negative cosine ln of x plus c.
Now for the final example, we have the integral of one divided by the square root of two x minus one. So we see that we have the function two x minus one within the square root. So let's take that to be our u. Okay, taking the derivative, we get du equals two dx, or our dx equals one half du. Okay, so bringing this down, we have the integral of one divided by the square root of u times one half du. Okay, let's pull out our one half. Okay, so this is looking a lot better than this original integral. So we know that one divided by the square root of u is just u to the negative one half. So we can just perform our basic antiderivative to solve this. So we get u to the one half over one half. So we can bring out this one half on the bottom to cancel out with that. So we just get u to the one half plus c. Bring back in our what our u is, we get the square root of two x minus one plus c. So that's the answer to this somewhat difficult looking integral. It comes out pretty easily to just a basic antiderivative, and then we get the final answer.